What's up, everyone? Welcome to this edition of Our Travel Tips. I'm Kyle Rasmussen. Um, today, we're continuing with our discussion around culture shock. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about reverse culture shock. Um, so a couple weeks ago, um, if you didn't see, I talked about um, culture shock and how to deal with that. Um, so when you're traveling to a new place and experiencing some feelings of, you know, maybe depression, anxiety, um, hopelessness, you know, longing, longing for home, that sort of thing. Um, all those things that come along with being in a new, new environment. Um, but there's also a thing called reverse culture shock. Um, now this actually, I've personally found it to be, um, a lot more difficult to deal with than culture shock itself. Um, and I think that's because when it comes to cult culture shock, one, I've experienced a lot of, um, unique places around the world but I'm also really excited to go on trips. And so I'm, I, I'm really excited, um, you, you know, you know, being there in that new place and I'm, and I'm okay and prepared for all those stimulants, uh, typically, um, at least for a short amount of time, um, or a few days or whatever it is. Um, uh, but reverse culture shock, um, even though I've experienced this a number of times, um, uh, it's still, still hard for me. Um, and that's because, um, I'm usually not excited to come back home. <laughs> um, so virtual reverse culture shock. Um, what it, what it is, is that, um, when you come home from a trip where you were in a new environment that was different from your normal routines and daily life that you're used to, um, you get kind of used to that new, that new place, that new culture, that new way of doing things, all the new stimulants. And then you come home back to your normal life and things feel out of whack. You feel like you don't fit into your, your normal culture anymore. Um, you're kind of shocked by being back in reality. And so this can be a really hard thing to deal with. I've really struggled with this. Um, I really had a hard time with it recently uh, when I came back from Colombia and Panama a few months ago. Um, it's hard to to come home and know that you know the trip is over essentially and you're back to your normal life. Um, one of the things I've really found that um, is hard to deal with is that, and I think this is why it's so bad. Um, so when I go travel somewhere, let's say Colombia and Panama for example. I did all of these great things. I experienced, experienced all these amazing things. Um, you know, I saw these new places, met all these new people, did all of these, you know, things that I'm not used to and that, you know, wouldn't happen back in my normal life. Um, and it was awesome. And then I came home and I was really excited to share a lot about it, but nobody else around me has experienced those same things. No one, no one in my normal life was there with me on the trip. Um, no one was there to share some of those memories with me other than the group that I was with. Um, so being back in my normal life, um, you know, being around the, the normal people that I'm usually around, um, we, I, I've now changed. I've now experienced some new things that they haven't experienced. And so it changes the, the dynamic a little bit. Um, they can't relate to me the same way because we've had some different experiences. Um, and this could go into a broader, broader discussion around society as well. Um, you know, I think it's important to understand that, you know, we're all coming from different backgrounds and we're all experiencing different things every day from, you know, everyone around us and we're all coming from a different lens. So I think it's important to understand that not everyone's going to see everything the same way as you. And honestly, no one's going to see everything the same way as you. Um, that's going to be pretty rare that someone actually, um, a hundred percent sees things exactly the same way as you do. So I think it's important to note, like, Hey, be patient with people and understand that we're all coming from different places. Um, back to reverse culture shock. Um, you know, I, I think this is one where you have to be a little bit proactive with, with it. Um, I think when you go abroad, especially going overseas, it's important to, you know, tell your family, your friends, people that ba are back home that you're going to see when you come back home from your trip, tell them, Hey, like, I'm, I'm really excited to experience all of this. And I want to share this with you. I know maybe you aren't as interested <laughs> in it as me. 
Um, but I, I needed to be able to, to share these experiences with you and, and share what happened um, because it's going to help me transition back into my normal life um, and, and just kind of help others around you understand that, hey, this, you know, this could be potentially a life changing thing. Um, usually travel um, is pretty life changing, in my opinion. So um, I think one, being proactive with it, sharing with people, um, communicating with them that, hey, I'm going to go experience some things. Um, you know, it's going to be be a fun, amazing trip. Um, and, you know, I'm going to learn and grow as a person and, and come with a new perspective when I'm back. Um, and maybe, um, you know, along with that, you, you find a way to maybe bring some of that culture back with you. Um, or maybe try to experience some of that culture over the next few days once you get back from your trip um, to help kind of ease yourself back into your normal life. Um, so, for example, um, you know, if I went to Colombia, um, maybe I can research a place back home where I can find some Colombian food or Colombian, uh, you know, drinks or music or, you know, different things of the culture that I just experienced for the last 10 days. Um, and so that way I can, I can come home, be back in my normal setting, but still experience some of that trip, um, experience some of that culture that I was just in and kind of continue it so that it's kind of a slow um, decompress from the trip. Um, hopefully that makes, makes sense. Um, I think some places are easier to do that than others. Um, luckily, you know, more and more these days, you're seeing a lot more international, um, you know, foods and drinks and music and stuff all over the world. Um, so it's easy to kind of integrate some of that um, back into your normal life as well. Um, and I think the last thing that I'll, that I'll say is that you just got to know that these are going to be life changing experiences when you're traveling. Um, especially traveling abroad, especially traveling to somewhere vastly different than what you're used to. And it, you're going to feel the shock when you come back. You're going to feel this you know, back to reality sensation. Um, but you just got to know that, hey, this is going to be a life changing thing. I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to come home and you know, find a way to maybe integrate some of these things back into my normal life and find a way to make my normal life better um, because of this, this new perspective I've had um, from my travels. Um, that's something that I, that I try to do every day. Again, a reason why I'm doing all of these things, the videos, the podcasts, the books, etc., cetera, um, is I've, I've experienced so many different cultures now. I've, I've traveled to a lot of different places and I just, I see so much opportunity to make life better for everyone back at home. Um, in my normal life and also help make life better for the places I've traveled to as well. So, um, those are some, some tips there. Um, hopefully those, those help you out. Um, again, if you go on a trip and, uh, you get back and you're having a tough time, definitely reach out to me, email me, message me, um, on social media, whatever it is. Um, I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to listen to some of your experiences and, and travel vicariously through you. Um, and, and I'm definitely going to be there to help you out. So, um, hopefully that helps guys. Um, hopefully enjoy, uh, your next trip and, um, we'll see you all next time.